All right, in your math journal, your November math journal, you're going to open up to page number 12 where it has a bunch of pumpkins on it. All right, what are directions for this journal, math journal, are today is color the pumpkins as you count by tens. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. That is counting by tens. So go ahead and get out a crayon of your choosing to color the pumpkins. I'm going to choose orange because pumpkins are orange. I'm going to get you started with coloring the pumpkins and counting by tens, and then I'm going to have you do some by yourself. So the first one we're going to start with is coloring the 10. Since we're counting by tens, we're beginning with the number 10, and 10 is one zero. It's the very first pumpkin. So go ahead and color the first pumpkin orange. Color the 10 orange. We're counting by tens. So go ahead and count that, or color that 10 orange. Now after 10 comes 20. Go ahead and color that tw um, 20 orange. Color that pumpkin because we're counting by tens and we go 10, 20. The next one we're gonna color is 30. Notice we don't color 26. That's not counting by tens. You would color the 30 orange. So 10, 20, 30. That's the one we're going to be coloring next. The next one we're gonna color is 40. Notice we did not color the 38. 38 is not counting by tens. 40 is counting by tens. So color the 40, 10, 20, 30, 40. <coughs> Think about which one you might color next. What comes after 40 when we're counting by tens? 50 comes next. Go ahead and color that pumpkin. 50, go ahead and color it orange. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Those should all be colored orange. All right, so I just, if you haven't had a chance to go, I want you to go in there and I want you to color 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50. I'm just gonna go back in there and touch up my pumpkins a little bit because I was kind of sloppy. It's hard to hold my camera and color at the same time. All right, now we're going to talk about, for a minute, what we do when we're looking at counting by tens. So any number, when you're counting by tens, is going to end in a zero. So you can see here, I'm going to underline the zero. I'm underlining the zero in 10. So when we're counting by tens, the number in the ones place over there is always gonna be a zero. So we're looking at the next number. Let's see, is there a zero there? Oh, there sure enough is. So we're gonna underline that zero. So that helps us to remember when we're counting by tens, the number in the ones place over there is a zero. So remember, we went to the 26, and there's not a zero there, there. So that's why we didn't color that pumpkin. Now we're gonna look at 30. Oh, look, it ends with a zero there. There's a zero in the ones place. So we're gonna underline that. Oh, we're looking at 38. Oh, there's no zero there. So we're moving on to the next number. The next number, there is a zero there beside the four, that's 40. So since there's a zero in the ones place, we know that that is counting by tens. That's why we colored it. And now we're looking at the 50, it ends in a zero, so we know we're counting by tens. So we underline that zero. So we're gonna go through and look at these other numbers. Take your pencil, and I want you to go through and look at each number and see if it ends in zero. If it ends in zero, 
I want you to put a line under the zero. If it doesn't end in zero, then don't put a line under any other numbers. This is gonna be a little clue to help us to know which ones we need to color next. So go through each of those numbers and see if there's a zero. There is a zero, that means we're counting by tens. So if you wanna pause the video and try to do this by yourself, wonderful. If you wanna to continue to watch what Mrs. Wargo is doing here, you can. Going and looking at each number in the ones column and I see that there is a zero and then I underline it. And I'm going to continue doing that until I've looked at each of the pumpkins on the page. All right, now I'm gonna go in and I'm going to look at each pumpkin that I underline the zero. And that little underline under the zero is going to remind me that I was counting by tens. And I need to color that pumpkin in with my orange crayon. So I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna color under those, all those pumpkins because I know I'm counting by tens.